once again, my friends, August 23rd, 2018, 1247 AM. Very quick update. Of course, we are still tracking our unbelievable hurricane lane heading towards the Hawaiian Islands. Um, I can't get over this donut shape. This is just a very, very um, important thing to see in hurricanes when it deals with uh, the amount of strength that this thing has with it. Um, you could probably extend this from the eye out to the end of this donut about 75, 80 miles. Um, that is the danger zone. Now, of course, these bands that come off as well produce a lot of wind and rain. But when we talk landfall, they're basically talking about that area. And remember, this storm has gone through um, a change where the eye wall collapses and then reforms and sometimes reforms stronger. And that's what happened with this storm and is part of the reason why this thing has survived so long. And, you know, it's just the way that things work in the Pacific Ocean. We have a lift in the high pressure. This thing's clearly moving north. And it's just over the next couple of days, we will re really be able to tell where and what part of these islands are going to be affected. But uh, really quick, temperatures, very cool tonight. Um, I'm not complaining whatsoever. Uh, Caroline and I just drove down from uh, northeast Pennsylvania back down to southeast. Uh, nice cool drive, but um, definitely wanted to get this video out to you guys because we have another situation going on which I think is very important to talk about uh, because it's just like, just in the thumbnail like I said, and like clockwork, it's like one thing after another after another after another and just to see the Atlantic Ocean pop up with one of its first invests in a while uh, while all this other crazy stuff is going on is just like you know what of course you know why wouldn't we get a uh, a period of time where we get a couple rapid fire hurricanes off the west coast of Africa or in the Caribbean just to add that cherry on top to the last couple weeks we've been dealing with around the world so um, there it is guys 20 percent chance over the next five days uh, we do have a bit of sand coming off of the African coast as well, which may be the determining factor of whether this survives or not. But uh, based on this chart here, this is our tropical index intensity chart, and wherever you see the reds, that is where cyclone formation is highly favorable. So uh, basically over the next five days, as we watch this invest to whether it survives or not, once it start, starts making it, about that 12 to 1500 mile trip into this pink area if there's no disturbances we have a drop in the shear winds uh, so basically right now the only thing holding this back could be the sand but um hey once it makes it to this area guys it's anyone's guess and if it hits any of this red stuff um, we can pretty much guarantee we're gonna see a tropical depression and this is that peak time of year for the Atlantic season. I know a lot of people are under the impression it's been a slow season. According to the amount of letters we've gone through, it has been. There's no doubt about it. But that does not mean that we will not have that rapid fire situation like we had last year. Um, and it all starts from the west coast of Africa, which is right around this time of year we start seeing that. And then a little bit later on in a few weeks, we'll start seeing our invest more forming down here in the bottom of the Caribbean, just like Nate did last year. So a uh, very quick video. just wanted to get this out to you guys. Um, as far as the U.S. weather goes, we have another low pressure system that we talked about a couple days ago that is crossed into the U.S. It's going to do a little dip into the central plains here, but it, it will eventually become a rain event for the northeast. Um, temperature wise that will depend on how uh, how much we can deal with it what it's going to be like and then a real quick radar check you can see how this thing kind of began coming in through California a little bit but a lot of it started up here in the northwest and then kind of dipped down and then once it hit that warmer air and the moisture it began to form and this is what we're looking at that's why you match it with this chart right here you can see this is the area to watch and then matching it up with the radar chart we can see that that is entirely accurate so as we move forward into current time which is frame 200 you can begin to see some of these storms picking up those darker greens the reds down in Mexico as always 
and this will become one system that you begin to see to start to spin counterclockwise and it's going to do that typical northeast pole and it's going to be another round of rain guys so um, a lot of gardens ruined my poor mother oh I feel so bad she loves her garden she's out there every day taking care of it and too much water it just there's nothing you can do about it I mean I'm sure there is but you guys know how it goes it's either too hot and everything burns or you get too much water and things just don't grow right so it's just been one of those years and um, here's a live lightning chart just to give you an idea of where these storms are particularly strong um, and you can see here they're beginning to form right in those states we showed in the radar so we'll keep an eye on this as well but obviously we'll be focusing on Lane and our friends over in Hawaii um, I'm going to touch on the typhoons as well tomorrow and uh, so on and so forth so um, it's been nice to get videos out to you guys and uh, start reconnecting with everybody and uh, that's where we're gonna go from here so Caroline and I thank you very much and we will talk to you guys later on this morning because we are in the early morning hours of August 23rd thank you guys so much for listening talk to you in a few hours